Hello there, friends, and welcome. All right, uh, I gotta, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> You know, Jenna Marbles has been one of YouTube's golden girls from the beginning. Her ability to make any fan feel a direct one-to-one -one connection as she welcomes millions into her home every Wednesday is due in part to a combination of her warm personality mixed with her funny, filterless, and realistic outlook on all of life's problems. But the intimate bond we form with the star is influenced beyond these details and aided by additional elements that often go unnoticed by the average eye. Production variables such as framing, camera angle, video resolution, and degree of professionalism, combined with the ways in which Jenna Marbles presents herself to her audience, are also major components that affect her viewers' perception and their perceived relationship with the star. This concept of bringing awareness to how the manipulation of particular production variables may subtly influence our perception of people, places, and events when watching television, film, or YouTube videos derives from one of Joshua Myritz's three approaches for understanding and studying media the media grammar literacy approach. This approach sees each medium as its own language and entails understanding and recognizing the standard range of production variables, as well as recognizing the ways in which the variables are typically used to attempt to shape viewer perception in response to mediated communications. Although YouTube as a medium utilizes variables that are often quite different from television and film, in addition to his approaches for understanding media, Meyerowitz's exploration of the relevance of interpersonal behavior codes to television can be applied to YouTube videos as well. Meyerowitz argues, television shots and camera locations are related to the way in which we perceive and react to interpersonal distances and face-to-face -face relationships. By building upon the theories of Edward Hall, Meyerowitz created his concept of paraproxemics. Hall's theory of proxemics explains how our relationships with others can be defined by our choice to use a certain spatial distance with specific people. The concept of paraproxemics suggests, in a particular shot, the way in which a person is framed may suggest an interpersonal distance between that person and the viewer. Like most YouTube vloggers, Jenna Marbles utilizes certain framing techniques that contribute to the sense of closeness her viewers feel with the star. By framing herself somewhere between a close-up and a medium shot, while her camera remains in the same position throughout the video, she allows her viewer to continually sense an intimate physical distance while being just far enough away where they won't feel intimidated or uncomfortable. By utilizing this distance, it allows her viewers to sense a paraproxemic relationship with Jenna Marbles, that of a friend or a best friend, and the feeling that they're Skyping or sitting across the table from one another having a conversation. Her use of camera angle, in addition to the use of framing, enforces the perceived friendship and connection that viewers feel. By strategically positioning her camera at eye level, it suggests a peer status to her viewers, who can then sense as though she is just like them and further connect with the star. Although Myritz explains that the content of the video doesn't necessarily impact viewer perception, by producing content that is relatable, humorous, and incredibly candid, combined with her use of a fairly close-up, stable, and eye-level shot, that level of friendship that is felt by the intimate distance is intensified by the content she discusses with her viewers. In terms of professionalism, the degree of amateur production that Jenna Marbles has maintained since her start adds a level of authenticity to her videos. While most YouTubers began their YouTube careers as amateur content producers, many have made the decision to improve upon production variables such as video resolution and editing in order to produce more professional, polished videos. This can often come across to viewers as less genuine, more commercialized, and less relatable, which in turn can affect the close proxemic relationship that had been formed previously with the star. However, Jenna Marbles has been able to improve upon production variables over the last six years without losing her sense of amateur authenticity, allowing her viewers to hold a consistent perception of their relationship. Although the lighting and resolution of her videos have clearly improved, she continues to film, edit, and produce her videos herself without the help of a team or professional studio. If anything, by producing her videos with a higher resolution camera and allowing her viewers to interact with her more clearly, it makes it seem more real and personal. Otherwise, Jenna Marbles has chosen to consistently utilize the same production variables as those as she employed from the beginning, those that aided her initial perception as a close friend. She has continued to apply a minimal amount of simple editing techniques, which allows her videos to feel more personal and distinct from the professional editing, film, or television. The functions of these grammar variables can also be applied to Myrath's notion of parasocial impressions, which resulted after building upon Irving Goffman's notion of impression management, which explains all social roles are, in a sense, a performance where the individual actor highlights certain characteristics and conceals others. 
But considering the setting of Jenna Marble's videos and how she presents herself to the audience, it provides us with both the impression she intends to give off, as well as additional insight into how her viewers perceive her. Although she has moved over the years from her apartment in Cambridge to Los Angeles, her setting always remains the same, in her home. Although little can usually be seen in the background that provides viewers with additional insight, by welcoming viewers into her personal space, it creates a more intimate setting and the sense of the viewers that guest in her home. Jenna Marbles also greets her viewers at the beginning of each video in a way that feels genuine and real. Whether playing with her dog in front of the camera, making funny sound effects, or mindlessly chatting away before getting down to the real content, Jenna Marbles makes her viewers feel as though they've come over to engage in friendly conversation rather than sitting down to watch a fabricated encounter. She also presents her personal front in a casual and natural manner, allowing viewers to feel more comfortable knowing she's staying true to her real personality. By filling her videos with funny faces, sounds, and gestures, she displays a level of comfort with her audience that is undoubtedly picked up on. These variables can also be used in relation to Goffman's notion of teaming, which explains how certain variables can help to align or team the viewer with the character portrayed. By allowing viewers into her home and combining in her audience with a range of personal and candid topics, Jenna Marbles often presents her audience with back region behavior. Rather than seeing themselves as part of an audience, by presenting her audience with an intimate front, viewers are then able to feel that sense of intimacy and sense as though the interaction is just between the two of them. Not only do the grammar variables utilized in Jenna Marbles videos aid the creation of appealing videos, they are influential factors in allowing her fans to feel as though they hold an intimate connection as they would a best friend. Unlike the production variables utilized in television and film, the techniques applied to the videos of YouTube stars such as Jenna Marbles help us gain insight into why it's so natural to feel a perceived connection from YouTube videos that feels that much more authentic and real than other mediums.